All right. This is what I got for Christmas for my wife. I got from the Hot Desolation of Smog and Lord of the Rings Strategy Battle Game from Games Workshop. I got what's called the Great Beast of Gorgoroth. For those who don't remember, the Great Beast of Gorgoroth was the creature in the movie. It looked like a rhinoceros and it, and it was dragging the great battering ram, Grand. And in the book, it does describe them. It doesn't go into much detail, but it does say they pulled a huge battering ram. And this battering ram is so huge that normal horses or draft oxen would be, would not be able to pull it. Oxen would be too slow and easily get taken down by our arrows. <clears throat> so they had to use something else. Elephants probably could have dragged it, but, but, were, but they use these great beasts of Gorev, which looks like rhinoceroses in the movie. And probably pretty accurate, I think. This set usually costs around eighty-five dollars, so say ninety with taxes in Canadian dollars. Uh, it's made in the UK, which is pretty cool. And I've been waiting to get one of these. I have pulled the box a little hard. So basically, what you get, you get how to assemble it. You do. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But this is. The creature and it does look like a rhinoceros it's got the huge horn it's got the body of a rhinoceros okay and then you get it's got it comes in three parts the rhinoceros does the front leg and the back leg and it's got its base you can see the base that comes with this so it's going to sit just like that now this thing also comes with some orcs and you see two, four, six, eight, ten orcs. Most of them are archers. You even got one dude who's throwing a rock. And there's supposed to be one guy that has a spear. And it looks like he uses it to guide the, the beast. Which isn't actually the smartest thing in the world because rhinoceroses are generally known to be very ill-tempered so I can't believe they that an orc would be sitting on top of one of these things guiding it because orcs aren't known for their gentle disposition and it also comes with a carrying basket so these things are carry these orcs into, into battle on top of this thing which is a little far-fetched again rhinoceros is not a great idea but supposedly it works. And you can see from the diagram that the orcs are on there. There's the great, great beast with his carrying basket. And that. So it looks impressive. Hopefully it looks really cool. Uh, I'm not sure how that will work in an actual game scenario. Um, I would rather have seen a huge set where you have two of these great beasts of Gorgoroth and they're pulling a battering ram. That would have been a much cooler idea, but then sit, having ten orcs sit on the back of this thing, yeah, there's the guy with the spear. He's supposed to sit in front, and it looks like he's prodding the thing with it, with a hook. Get him going. Not a smart idea. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll put it together and see what it looks like. Till next time. All right, it's been one week since I did the the initial review on the great beast of Gorgoth as you can see I finally painted the whole thing it it took some time uh, the rhino, the great beast itself is easy to paint because it's so big and there's not really much to it there isn't but uh, it came out well the rhinoceros part came out well the basket did too uh, not so much the orcs themselves uh, the orcs were because they're resin, they break off a little easier. Pieces do. And there's more, uh, what you call runoff. So they're really hard to paint. And there are 10 of them. And they don't actually sit in the basket too well. Uh, three of them, four of them are supposed to sit on top of the hump, the very back of the rhino. Unless I glue them together, which I really don't want to do, simply because. If, if you kill one, you want them to come off, you want them to fall off. Make it more dramatic and have them fall off the uh, the great beast. 
You can see the one, he's got a little rock in his hand. He does, he throws rocks down, which is kind of dumb, because that means you got to get beside them. Um, the others are all archers, except for the one guy who's got a spear, which he probably uses to prod the fell beast in the right direction, which I thought was a really dumb idea, because, again, prodding a rhino is not the smartest idea in the world. Um... But yeah, it turned out okay. My, Like I said, I'm not a professional painter. But it does the job. That's what it does. Uh, like I said before, I'd rather see the great beast carrying a battle ram. The, the great battering ram Grand. That would have been much cooler. But this is, this is pretty cool. And we'll play with it and see what happens. But anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like, kind of. And it it is cool. But anyway, hope you like, click the like button if you do, and put comments in the field below. Thank you.